it's me, tu madre. Lois Griffin, time for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Good morning, Lois, which is who you are. My wife, Lois. Hugging my wife. Package for Peter Griffin. Thank you, unknown delivery woman. Forget the freaking Emmy. If you touch her ass, I will... <gasps> Amazon. Hi, my uncle Alejandro lives in the Amazon. Do you think he has sent us shoes made from banana leaves? Boy, the, uh, the ethnic characters on these Emmy-winning shows aren't exactly rocket scientists, are they? I don't know what you're talking about, Liz Lemon. No, this is something I ordered. For me. <sighs> I am a woman, and always have been. I've made plans to undergo surgery so my wang don't get in the way of the woman what I am. Ay, Dios mío! Lois, I'll still be a parent to our children. But now, I'll be a transparent. Get it? Transparent? Clever pun, right? Please honor me for my courage. I think gender reassignment surgery is very brave, and the fat man should win some kind of award for it. The fat woman. He hasn't chopped it off yet. That doesn't matter. Peter already identifies as a woman. And on karaoke night, I identify as George Michael. That doesn't mean it's true. Brian's just mad because he has to be the lady one. Which makes you the one who's gay in real life. Daddies, I'm standing here delivering my line with more emotion and less of a monotone than the actual Lily on Modern Family. I'm now confident enough to share my truth with the rest of my loved ones, beginning with my son, Chris. Bazinga, Father. Assuming Father is still the appropriate designation. What, what are you doing? Waiting for the laugh to die down. I'm here because I've decided to become the woman I am inside. Can you find it in your heart to accept me? Oh, Dad, science has moved so far past binary gender construction, and if being a woman makes you happy, then in the words of Mr. Spock, it's only logical. Wow, I couldn't follow any of that. But look how smart your audience is. <laughs> Louis C.K., is that you? Yep, I'm a big fan of yours, Peter. Wow, that's great. Because if Louis C.K. likes something, everyone has to. That's right. Well, I'm glad my popularity has cooled off just enough that you're able to get me to do this. Bye, Peter. Boy, he's not afraid to go there, I'm told. No! But if gender roles have been turned upside down. Correct, Quagmire. I'm going in for gender reassignment surgery. What the hell, Peter? First my dad, now you? Am, am I? Is it, am I doing this to people? Is it, do you guys feel like cutting off your penises? No, but I can turn it inside out like rolling up a dress sock. You guys aren't supporting my choice? Well, what do you expect, Peter? I, I mean, a sex change operation? Why are you doing this? I'll tell you why I'm doing all of this. For me. M-E. M-E. I'm doing it for M-E. <laughs> Ew. I mean, yay. <laughs> Man or woman, I'm a big fat joke. No one takes me seriously. I do, Dad. You've inspired me to nakedly eat this cake in a weird place. Thanks to you, I now believe in me. Me. M-E. I believe in Emmy. Okay, okay. All right, don't want one that bad. Peter, I'd like to introduce the surgeon who will perform your procedure today. Dr. Wang Gan. Wow, I can't believe all you guys came out to support me. You guys aren't just the best friends I've ever had. You're also the best comedy. <laughs> Great job, everyone. If that don't get us to Emmy, nothing will. Where do you think you're going? Doc, I'm, I'm not actually going through with the operation. I'm going home. We're doing this whether you like it or not. Hey, Doc, no! Stop him! Somebody help! You want the Emmy, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. And that is how I became your mother. 